Balloons are the oldest type of aircraft known to mankind. So why does the most modern army in the world still use them? For the purpose of launching a weather balloon is uh, basically for wind data. It gives us a wind direction, wind speed, pressure, temperature, and humidity. Two balloons are sent aloft daily. It takes just a few minutes to prepare for each flight. Right. To get ready for the mission, it's all about preparation. You want to make sure that the balloon is not going to accidentally bust before it should. You want to make sure that the data that you're going to get back is going to be accurate. Helium allows the balloons to reach an altitude of at least 6,000 feet. During the flight, sensors record atmospheric conditions. Both the balloon and the instrument package are disposable. A parachute keeps the package from plunging to the ground when the balloon pops. As the balloon floats away, high-tech tracking instruments follow it. Data is monitored, recorded, and then sent forward to those needing the information. The people who use the information are the, basically mortars, uh, the field artillery, the palatins, the MLRSs. Soldiers in the 2nd Battalion, 2nd Infantry Regiment load the atmospheric data into targeting computers. With that information, their weapons are more accurate. It may seem like an old-fashioned idea, but when this balloon goes up, soldiers in the 3rd Brigade Combat Team are better able to overwhelm the enemy with accurate firepower. Reporting from FOB Normandy, I'm Army Sergeant Kent Taylor with the 1st Infantry Division and Task Force Danger.